Mr. Krishna, Ram Grojan here from the Ledbetter Golf Academy in Champions Gate, Florida. Uh, thank you for sending your swings in. I noticed you sent some drivers, a couple irons, and uh, let's just go over a couple things. One thing I need you to do is work on your alignment. Um, you notice the feet, knees, and hips aren't quite in line. We got the feet aiming quite a bit to the right, and the shoulders what appears to be a bit more down your target line. So that's one thing we need to do, and I'll show you a picture of what I'd like you to practice as you're doing that. Now, as we look at your swing, uh, notice, I mean, body angles look really good. Grip pressure looks quite tight, though. Uh, seems like a lot of tension in the arms, a lot of tension in the hands, to where if we could just soften it up a little bit, that club would swing much easier. Because one thing I notice as you're swinging, even though your swing's quite short, um, which is not a bad thing. Just seems like as we come down, we get way onto our toes, and then everything's kind of out of balance as we get into the through side. So which means with that tension and you trying to swing real hard, it's kind of taking your body out of balance. Now we look at the face on view, like the ball position. Again, shoulders look kind of shrugged up, uh, arms again look quite tense so as we move the club away it just seems like the arms are moving a lot i do like how your weight's moving to the right and then trying to shift to the left but there it just seems like a lot of arm force coming through the ball which is taking you out of your your balance now let's look at an iron again like kind of that same appearance with the uh, the feet aiming quite a bit to the right and the shoulders looking like they're pretty square. So uh, let's go ahead and work on a little bit of that alignment now as we get up. Now one thing, I'm going to go ahead and put a circle around your head. And this is, uh, you know, kind of ties in with the tension in your arms. As you get the club moving, you see how everything gets up a little bit taller. So we really need to feel like we're staying in those angles arms moving a little bit softer or feeling a bit softer maintaining those posture angles so I would say your your miss is a bit more of a thin shot and that's you know just the arms being a bit on the tense side and body angles staying way above that circle line you look at it from the face on view with the iron let me put that circle on your head again we're gonna see a lot of head movement but again, it's the lift of the arms, tension in the arms. Then you have to revert back down, get a little ahead of it, and that ball's coming off the bottom of the club. So let me show you a, a picture here. And uh, I'm going to use a gentleman by the name of Fred Funk. He plays the Champions Tour here in the States. And again, you look at the posture angles, and here's that stick I was telling you about. Um, he's got an alignment stick. You could either put it there or maybe even a stick right in between the ball and your feet just to get those feet, knees, hips a bit more in line. And now let's put a circle around around his head just as a reference point. Do the same thing with yours. And as he gets this club moving, you see how his head's staying very level. You know, his arms look very soft, very kind of tension-free. So let's match you up uh, to the top of your backswing. There you go. There you see how everything's getting a little bit taller. So you've got to feel like there's a ceiling. Kind of imagine a ceiling up above your head, and your head's not allowed to go above that. So we really have to maintain those posture angles instead of getting up above or breaking through that ceiling because there's just too much movement. And we're changing elevation a little bit too much. In fact, you see how he almost goes down rather than up as he approaches the ball. And then you see as he gets into his finished position, very balanced, swinging within himself rather than trying to muscle the ball out there. So let's look at that same thing from a face-on view. Put those circles back in around your head. go and now as we go you know getting very tall and then actually getting a little bit ahead of that circle as we come down 
You're going to see him. See, it moves, but it never stays. It never goes up or down. It really stays pretty centered. Yours is well above, so those thin shots would be pretty much your miss. So the main thing is get those arms a little bit softer. Relax the arms. Relax the grip pressure. Just let that body wind. Keep it a little bit more compact staying in the shot rather than trying to muscle it out there. So good luck and good golf.